Park sound and a lot of the songs were upbeat. You know, probably 80 percent of the songs that wrote the album all up tempo. And I think people were trying to, I suppose, take it away a little bit from Westlife as well, and not having the exact same sound because it, it could have been very easy to do a, a single Westlife album. But I don't think, I think people would have said, oh, it's a bit like Westlife. It's very similar. So I think what people wanted me to do was create a bit of excitement, maybe shock a few people, you know, and try and not not completely change my sound because. I sing the way I sing, you know, I'm not going to change how I sing. But I found that, you know, that up tempo little vibe and the songwriting process was, as I said, you know, when I was writing about, you know, ind individual personal stuff, I found it very easy to write the songs. Like it was very, songs were done very quick, you know, like one day, all, always one day, or maybe three hours, two hours, because it was just like telling stories, you know, it's like some of the songs on the album are very, um, they're very like kind of just honest and very kind of, you know, I'm not trying too hard to be too too cool about writing certain lyrics and just telling stories. And they're all little mini stories about my life and about Gillian and you know, like there's songs on there called When I Met You, which is about the night I met my wife, you know, and, and another song, All You Need to Know, it's, it's basically about telling my wife that that's I wanna look after her, you know, no matter what happens in her life, it's my it's my job to look after them, my kids and my wife, and that's all she needs to know. So it's little simple things like that. There's another song, my next single is called About You. Um, and that song is basically about her, you know, but it's also about other, it can be about any woman in the world like, that a guy can relate to, you know, like their husband can go, you know, this song is about you, you're perfect, you know, I married you because I love you, you know, so if you're having a bad day, that's okay, it doesn't matter, I, I still love you. So it's all kind of just true, true stories. Hi, Hello. Uh, do you work as a friend to try and Try solo, yeah. I was very, um, I was very scared about the idea, to be honest, and that's why people ask me a lot throughout Westlife, why, why, you know, do I do a solo album? And I'm like, no, I'm like, I'm in Westlife. Why would I want to do a solo album? You know, you're one of the biggest bands in the world, but when we decided to, to split as a band, it was something that if I wanted to sing like you, I had to go solo. Um, and I kind of, it kind of pushed me into the decision, but it was not a hard decision. But it was, a, I was still very scared, you know. Things you have to take a while to get used to it, and the only way to get used to something is to do it. You know, and you just got to do it. It's just like the song right now. I was very nervous about that because I'd never done it really before. Like not much, you know. And I kind of got thrown in the deep end into the swimming pool, and I had to learn how to swim. You know, and that's sometimes how you just got to do it. You know, at the start of Westlife, we didn't know what to expect either. We just did it, and it, and it was great. You know, we didn't expect anything. So, and with my soul for now, I, I don't expect. I, I have no expectations beyond. You know, hopefully people will like my music. You know, that's all I want to get. If I get that, and hopefully build on it, I know it's going to take time. You know, and I'm going to have to work very hard. And there's a lot of very good soul artists in the world at the moment. But I, I got to focus on on Shane Pilot. I, mean, I can't focus on anybody else. What are the factors you look for? So I think um, you know, just I suppose being out there on your own. You know, actually touring the world on your own. It's very different. You know, it's it's very. Just the thought of it scared me a little bit, you know, and I didn't know what to expect. Um, but again, you know, you have to do it. You know, I've got three young children, I've got a wife, and I, I gotta I gotta go out and earn a living, you know, and that's my job. You know, my wife is amazing, she looks after my kids, brings them to school every day, and she's there now very busy, and I'm in Manila very busy. And my job is, is to take care of them. So it's I get to sing, it's it's a pretty cool job to have to be, you know, this, this is pretty cool, so you know it's it's amazing so far. Are you working with any Anything from Westlife, like the band? Um, the only person from Westlife, well, obviously, I have the same manager. My manager, Louis Walsh, is my, is my manager. He managed Westlife. Uh, I've got the same kind of management team and management structure and business people that are looking after Westlife. Um, but obviously, Liam is a new person, co manager on the road for me. He's my day to day person. He's new, so he's my new friend on the road, traveling all over the world. So there's only two of us, so it's, it's pretty cool, you know, because it's quite easy to do everything. Um, you know, you, you make a decision and Two seconds, like you want to do that? Yeah. Okay. It's not like a, a big debate, you know. So it's that's probably the easiest thing about being so um, everything is done quite quickly. Um, but yeah, everything else, all the musicians, all the producers are all new. Bar one, one people, uh, Steve Mack and Wayne Hector, who go fly with their wings and you know swear it again, world of our own, what makes a man. Half of our Westlife hits, I got to write with them, which was amazing. And I'm, I'm very close to them. I'm very good friends with them. Um, so we wrote my new single about you, which is the video is exposed on YouTube on Monday, I think. So it's a really good song, good video.
last question. Uh, I read somewhere that you were deep in the you know, program Well, I can't. Well, I think. I think a lot of people are going to compare me to lots of different people. Um, you know, Ronan Keaton, obviously, he's, he's had a great sort of career. I know Ronan quite well. He's done very well for himself. But I think we're very different. I think vocally we're different. I think musically we're different. Um, you know, and I think the same with Michael Bublé, the same with Bruno Mara, Justin Timberlake, whoever. You know, we're all very different. I don't sing like any of them, and they don't sing like me. You know, and it's, that's what I think is individual, you know. And, but my music, I think, is slightly different too. You know, I think it's very different to Justin Timberlake, obviously. And, I can move. It's all we all, I suppose, have to carve out your own sound and your own career. You know, they're big stars. I'm only starting. I'm only like early days. You know, so hopefully in a few years, people will try not to be like my sound. You know, and hopefully, you know, get successful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good questions.